So our, our target price, in published target price, uh, which is going to change, is roughly $2,000. The stock is a little below $200. So we're talking about a 10x in our base case, and that's not even our goal case. Cathy Wood just blew the minds of every investor with a very mouth-watering Tesla stock price forecast. If you think Tesla hit rock bottom because of its plunging stock price, then think again because Cathy Wood just revealed something that's going to have you holding on to your Tesla shares so tightly, in fact, that you won't want to let go. Listen to this. In a company that feels like some are starting to understand it less lately, Cathy, is of course Tesla. It's not performing and it feels like Everybody everywhere is going after Elon Musk all the time. It is your second biggest holding. Are you holding on? And, and how should investors view Tesla right now? Yes, well, uh, we, uh, we report our trades every day, and you will see that we have been buying Tesla. Uh, there is so much negative psychology in the stock right now uh, around electric vehicles themselves. Uh, which we think is misplaced. We think electric vehicles are going to continue to gain share and really take over the market uh, in the next five years. Uh, EVs, we think, will be the bulk of the market in the next five years. So, uh, and then beyond that, robo taxis, robo taxis are going to uh, change the landscape entirely. So our, our target price, in published target price, uh, which is going to change, is roughly $2,000. The stock is a little below $200. So we're talking about a 10x in our base case, and that's not even our goal case. Yes, you heard right. ARK Invest CEO Kathy Wood, known for her bold bets and disruptive innovation picks, just dropped a bombshell, a $2,000 price target for Tesla by 2027. According to the Tesla bull, Tesla stock will grow just 10 times in just five years. It's pretty crazy when you think about it, actually. That's like saying the Model S will cost less than a gallon of gas. Okay, well, maybe not that drastic, but still, it's something worth paying attention to. So what's next? Should you load up on more Tesla shares or hit the brakes on this prediction? Well, let's dive into what Woods got to say on this topic. But to give us more insight into what Cathy Wood is trying to say, Listen to this recent interview with Dan Ives. Well, I'm so Nicole Fedelides. Joining me right now, Dan Ives, Managing Director, Equity Research at Wedbush Securities. You've talked so much about the tech revolution, all about these tech names, the Magnificent Seven, which now amount to $13 trillion in uh, market cap as we are now almost at uh, 5,000 on the S&P. So we had a dip, but you were right in the end, um, noting the upward um, trajectory. Now... AI is our next real big topic. I mean, it started in 2023. What are you thinking about adopting AI in 2024? Where does it start and, and continue? I mean, Nicole, the revolution's here. And I think if you listen to the Microsoft transcript, the messy of AI palantir, monetization's happening. And we see it from our checks every day across cloud, across software. I think now it's really going to chips the software. This is just get the popcorn ready. In our opinion, it's it, it continues to be the, that started in the fall. This new tech bull market's here. So when you say uh, from cloud to software, so when, are we thinking like from Intel, AMD, NVIDIA to what? I think to salesforce.com to Adobe, of course, what's happening in Redmond in terms of Microsoft. And then you look at the messy of AI Palantir, I think probably the best pure play AI name out there, MongoDB, Snowflake, that, that's just some examples. And then you look at the cybersecurity piece, names like Veronis, Tenable, Palo Alto, which I continue to view as a table pounder. And we continue to love the godfather of AI, Jensen NVIDIA. But this market, and it goes back to like, you, you could with a magnifying glass focus on a 60 minutes transcript. Instead, I'm gonna focus on tech earnings season, what we're seeing here. So, I mean, are, are we, should we not be worried about the economy because AI will solve everything? It will see the growth, it's, we'll see everything moving from point A to point B and supply chains will work. and you know, everything that people need, they will get. I mean, should we stop worrying? 
I mean, me and you have talked about this, you know, for many, many years, right? Like, I'm not someone that's going to become hyper focused on when the Fed's cutting in March or May. Fed's cutting this year. The soft landings here, and the bear narrative that you know they've continued to use over the last decade. Every time they come out of hibernation mode, focus on valuation their spreadsheets. Instead, you know, someone like ourselves, they spend so much time on the road. We see the use cases. This is the biggest tech transformation since the internet, 1995. So my view is that you'll have dips, ebbs and flows, black swan events, whatever it may be. But I think we look out next 12, 18, 24 months, this tech bull cycle continues. At the time of this video, Tesla stock was trading below $200, and it's gone down significantly year to date, causing investors to panic. But before you decide to sell all your Tesla shares at a giveaway price, Remember that while the internet debates Elon Musk's latest tweets and dissects Cybertruck memes, seasoned investors are quietly doing something else. That's right, they're buying Tesla stock. Now before you react, listen to this. We know that Tesla is a wild ride. The stock price swings like a pendulum on a windy day, and the company's name makes headlines on a daily basis. But we also know that the recent dip in Tesla's share price might just be a golden ticket for savvy investors when it comes to Tesla stock. People who know Tesla consider it a revolutionary company, and that's what it is. No doubt the stock is volatile, but for a seasoned investor like Cathy Wood, it's this volatility that presents an opportunity to jump on the Tesla bandwagon. Hey guys, welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. Cathy Wood is no stranger for Tesla. Remember when she predicted $4,000 back in 2018? Exactly, that came true, even though the stock split did help things a little bit. It's not the bone of contention right here. This time, her optimism is giving an interesting opinion right here on Tesla, particularly because Tesla stock is one stock that investors are starting to give up on. So let's say Cathy Wood's prediction came just in time. Well, this prediction hinges on two key bets, robo-taxis and autonomous driving. Now here's the deal. Cathy Wood envisions Tesla dominating this $9 trillion market by 2030 with a fleet of robo-taxis raking in profit. So let's think about it a little bit. Self-driving Teslas zipping around, ferrying passengers 24-7 with no driver needed. That's pretty futuristic. Wood believes Tesla's tech edge and data advantage give it the pole position in this race. Plus, its FSD beta program already has thousands of testers, putting them leagues ahead of the pack. So what's it going to be? Are you willing to take a chance on Wood's vision of Tesla dominating a robo-taxi future? Or are you willing to wait on the sidelines? waiting to see what's going to happen in this electric dream car when it truly takes flight. Maybe this comment from the president and founder of Blue Line Futures, Bill Branch, will have you making your choice. But before we dive into that video, if you like this type of content, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications to keep up to date on everything going on with Tesla. It is a starter position. It's not like I threw a slug in there, 5% for the position. I don't care. You and, but, but it, it is. I need a disclaimer. I'm happy with it. I, and, but what I'm saying for the viewers is I'm not saying go here right now and YOLO Tesla. What I'm saying is one of my strengths is position sizing, risk management. And, and that's what you want to do here. We started a starter position. I would like to build further into this. It, first, when a stock is falling out, you want to see it hit technical support and respond. It did that. Several big technical supports down there. Now, yes, they've slashed adjustment, uh, adjusted EPS. They've slashed revenue guidance. They've, they've cut things down, but that's also brought the pessimism here. And I think the pessimism has already taken hold of this stock. What I'm looking at is the 2026, like I talked about in the last segment, they're slashing their, it's the, the, earn, the multiple of it is going, 2026 is trading at 26 multiple. The optimist potential here is AI continues to develop. I, don't, I want to own this name when I wake up one day and Elon Musk is throwing a slug at it himself and bought more stock. And you think that will happen? I think it's around the corner. I think it's very soon around the corner that Elon would do that. I have no inside information on that. I'm just assuming that that he, you know, he he delivered a great earnings call in the sense of delivering the, the notes, but he hadn't, didn't have a ton of enthusiasm out of it. What is you know what we may be looking to see this stock come down? As a, I'm just going to come back to you. you. You say he delivered a great earnings call. Those were your oops, direct. Sorry, not not great, but he delivered. Well, an I'm just saying because that that's your direct quote, but. Dan Ives, who covers the company and has been as bullish yes. as anybody else, 
said it was exactly the opposite of what you're suggesting it was. And I agree with Dan Ives. I agree with, agree, I, great was the wrong, not, wrong name. I, I would say from a fiduciary standpoint, he delivered the earnings call. What I'm highlighting. But what he do you mean, he was on the call? He was on the call, yes. And it wasn't. It, All right, the bar is but, low. But the bar is low. He did not go out of his way to be enthusiastic about it. Maybe he wants to see the stock lower. And I would imagine that, uh, that, that he want, he's been talking about owning a, a more voting share in there. I he think wants them to give it to him. Yeah, he wants. He's to not to talking him. about buying more stock. He's talking about give me more votes so I can control this and give me my fifty-five billion dollar payout. Why are we in court in Delaware? That's that's that, that that's what on his agenda right now. That is a disappointment, and that aligns with the pessimism that's building here. So I think overall, though, I, I think at one point we'll wake up one morning and he's been buying stock. But as the pessimism takes hold, it doesn't change the overall story. It changes if you look out the multiple down the road in the next several years, it's going to be significantly lower. No, the market share and price cuts have changed the yeah. overall story for some, right? The, the loss of market share, particularly in China, the continued price cuts to, um, you know, continue to... To, to build revenues. And there's a lot of doubt around EVs right now. A lot of doubt, but a lot of that's getting priced in. I mean, it, just from the numbers okay. that being brought down, but also from the stock and where the price is trading right now. Let's go to this stock that John. Why do you think Cathie Wood and so many other seasoned investors are strapping in and buying in the dip? Well, there are a few reasons. First up, we got Elon Musk, and love him or hate him, Musk has a knack for painting a picture of the future, and it's one where Tesla sits firmly in the driver's seat. From self-driving, dominating the highways, to robo-taxis that'll ferry people from one place to another, Tesla's ambitions remain audacious, to say the least. But hey, audacious visions have a habit of turning into reality. Think of Apple, Amazon, and several other companies that have made groundbreaking success. For investors with a long-term view, betting on this vision could be a game-changer. Tesla's also got Cybertruck. Sure, this truck may look like something out of Mad Max, but don't confuse the theatrics with substance. Tesla's core business, electric vehicles, is booming. Deliveries may not be soaring, but they are increasing and production's ramping up too. And Tesla's demand shows no sign of slowing down. Even with traditional automakers scrambling to join the EV race, Tesla's established lead and brand loyalty do give it the advantage. Tesla also has a stronghold on battery production too. The future of transportation is electric, and Tesla is at the forefront of battery tech. The automaker's constant advancements in range, efficiency, and affordability are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Likewise, Tesla made a loud statement that it's not just about cars anymore. The automaker is playing in the solar energy game too, with its sleek Powerwall battery system and ambitious solar roof projects. The diversification further strengthens Tesla's position and opens up new avenues for growth making it more attractive as an investment option. Therefore, investing in Tesla is actually essential when it comes to placing bets on the future of EV, energy, and AI industries. And with the company's current lead, it's a bet that many investors are willing to take. For the investors, it's not just about the short-term gain, but the long-term benefits of investing in Tesla. Remember, while Tesla's stock price has dipped, the company's fundamentals do remain strong. Tesla is churning out cars, expanding the market, and constantly improving. And so, this disconnect between prices and performance creates a potential buying opportunity for those who know where to look. Yeah, all the people there in the background, I think they must understand that, and anybody should understand, that you, you're buying into stocks that can be very volatile. The knives have been out, as you've probably seen, people coming up, Morningstar, etc. They've come after you. But I would imagine your message to investors is we are investing in some companies that are going to boom wildly and become 10Xers. And there's other companies that may go away because these are the high tech AI investments. I, I would imagine that is a got to be a clear message to, to people watching and the people sitting behind you right there, Kathy. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're saying uh, that if you get on the right side of change, these companies will deliver super exponential growth. What does that mean? It means not only rapid growth sustained, uh, but an acceleration in growth. For example, Tesla uh, is going through a lull right now related to the cycle. But when autonomous taxi networks, uh, platforms kick in, as we think they will within the next two years, I will say, uh, then what we're talking about with Tesla is a reacceleration in growth and a huge increase in margins because robo-taxi platforms are SaaS models, software-as-a-service models. 
Uh, we have a lot of stories like that in our portfolio, and they are highly misunderstood. EVs are the future of the auto industry, but robo taxis also take it to another level. But hold on, before you start counting robo taxi profits, there are some roadblocks that you've got to consider. First up, autonomous driving is a complex game. Regulatory hurdles, safety concerns, and technological challenges are abound. Remember those phantom braking incidents with FSD? Yeah, not exactly confidence inspiring, right? Second up, competition is fierce. Traditional automakers like Ford and GM are pouring billions into self-driving tech, along with other giants like Alphabet and Baidu. And while the robo-taxi market might be big, it won't be Tesla's monopoly. And let's also not forget the broader market. Inflation, rising interest rates, and economic jitters could put a dampener on Tesla's growth, even if its robo-taxi dreams materialize. A $2,000 price tag in 2027 sounds great, but there are a lot of things that could happen to make that become a reality, and it could also not happen at all. So what's the verdict? Well, Cathy Wood's bullishness on Tesla is infectious, and her beliefs in the automaker's disruptive potential and first mover advantage are hard to ignore. Probably why this is the most difficult thing for Cathy Wood to think about, and it's why the host had this question to ask. Kathy, first time on Last Call. It's great to bump into you, literally bump into you in Arizona last week. Thanks for joining us. Um, some of oh, your top pleasure. holdings, uh, thank you, uh, have soared in the last 90 days. Shopify, Coinbase, UiPath, Block, all up more than 30%. Are you worried at all that certain parts of the market are starting to get or maybe already are a little bit stretched? Well, if we're, if we're taking a look at the market, if you look at what happened last year, uh, it, seven uh, seven percent of the the st the index. Wait, let me think about this. I got to think about this, Brian. Most of the returns in the S and P 500 were the magnificent seven, or now people are call calling them magnificent six. Um, some of those valuations are stretched. Uh, but if you think about that, uh, most of the market did not rally last year. I think they were, uh, most of the rest of the market was up only 7%. That's where the 7% number came from. And so uh, we think, and we know from our own stocks, which mostly are not the magnificent six, uh, that they have corrected ter tremendously. They're now starting to show earnings momentum and surprises on the upside, not just from revenue, but also earnings. Uh, and we think they have a long way to catch up. We are way below where we were at our peak. Now, maybe we shouldn't have been there, uh, at ARKK at 160, but uh, down to 45. We think uh, interest rates clobbered uh, our style. Yeah. And uh, we've paid our dues, and now earnings will and revenue growth will... Kathy Wood once cited a statement from the American car rental company Hertz, which stated that the EV maintenance costs are more than 50% lower than gas-powered cars. According to the ARK Invest CEO, electric vehicles and the miles they've traveled are rising faster than expected, destroying all demand. Kathy Wood had previously said that more people will key into EVs and the demand for oil is expected to drop in the future. But does this mean Kathy Wood's prediction is a sure bet? Well. Not exactly. The road ahead will undoubtedly have its bumps and detours, but for seasoned investors who see through the hype and understand the long-term potential, the current dip might just be a buying opportunity waiting to happen. Tesla stock is at $2,000. Well, is it? That's really a dream come true for any investor if it does happen. So why not be patient for the bigger gain? Remember, the greatest fortunes are often made when the market is fearful. And for right now, that's a certain electric car company with a bold vision and a discounted price tag. Just saying. So what do you think? Let us know down below. And for more exciting videos about Tesla, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen. See you there.